Predators. Predators. Hey, so uh, here's a little show where we talk about predatory things, predators, people that may prey on other people, things to look out for, things to look out for yourself. Tonight we're going to talk about towing. Hmm. Ugh. You've been towed hey, you before? You know what towing is. Oh, I've been towed. Have you been towed? Yeah, I've been towed. Sweet twice, molly, actually. Molly molasses. Really? Twice? Yeah. One time it was like uh, New York and down here in Texas. Wait, the New York one sounds like such a horrible thing. Experience. It was a college campus and the side of the road switched so like you can only park on one side. I didn't park my car. Someone else parked my car on the wrong side when I woke can you up. Can name a name? My sister. Name and initial? It's my sister. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So that one was just like, what the fuck? And I didn't pay because my sister fucked it up. And yeah, she paid. paid. She paid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was the process like, though? Did you know it was missing? Like, you have to go find it? I actually think she did most of the legwork because I was still, oh, like, in high school man, at the time. dude. Yeah, did but everything. the you light work, I did experience this in my 20s, mm-hmm. going to a movie theater where the movie theater had a garage, and I was like, I'll just park next door to avoid like the $3 parking fee. And I parked went right across the street. They have cameras. They see where you go after you park. They must have an attendant who calls it in, and then the tow truck comes within like a minute or two, takes your car, oh. okay. and it's gone. They take Depending it on the state, there are rules for this. Mm. So, tow truck drivers actually have rules. We're all sitting at home thinking, tow truck drivers, they're the worst people on earth. I'm here to tell you, yes, that's actually, actually 100% <laughs> Accurate. true. Yes. Tow truck drivers, so when you drive for a living, you drive differently than when you drive for fun and then when you drive for going to and from work. You're an expert most driver, people. I gather. True. So most of you people listening at home are what I call jack-off drivers. You drive to your friend's house, you drive to work, and then you drive home, right? Like, And then sometimes you drive to the store, sometimes you drive somewhere else. That's nothing. That's no, nothing. Yeah. I drive to every location. I drive back. I drive shortcuts. I got routes. I got to know how to route myself. I got to know when I got to double park. I got to know where I can secretly park. I got to know where I can park and not get towed, okay? Because sometimes I'll just double park in the middle of a two-lane street. I'll do it. I put my flashers on. Everyone has to go around me. Today, I went to the King of Prussia Mall. You know where I parked? The loading dock? No. You know where everyone walks and they have the trees that are on the side towards the mall? Yeah. I parallel parked between two trees. Oh, nice. Ain't nobody getting me there. And there's just enough room for people to walk by. No big deal. Because I don't fit in the parking garage, so it saves me a lot of walking. <laughs> but what I notice is there's one group of people, two groups of people that drive more than I do. Cab drivers and tow truck, truck drivers. drivers. And they drive like maniacs. Tow truck drivers will... There's a line of cars sitting at the red. They pull up along the right. They come up to the red light. <laughs> they look both ways and they just go through it. You're like, oh my god, that's incredible. Like I, guess, I get, I get hot and bothered under the car. I'm like, that's. Whew. We did it. So there's two <laughs> I'm types. Always thinking of doing it. Mm-hmm. There's the type that will tow you from like a a shopping center, <laughs> and then the type that is towing you from like an accident too. An accident scene. Mm-hmm. Which there is victimization there because of like spiffs. Mm-hmm. A spiff is well. They'll take your car to a certain garage that will charge more money and charge you money per day that your car is there. Mm-hmm. It's an outra- outrageous thing. Like the spiff could be like hundreds of dollars and then that place will charge you kickbacks. like $500 a day to keep your car there. kickbacks there. for them to keep the car there. Yes. So states started figuring this out. There are rules. Now, very state to state. The The best one is um, California actually passed the uh, consumer action law. Yeah. I'll just read a couple of these. One hour rule. This would have applied to your movie move. If you park somewhere illegally, they know you park there illegally. You know they park there illegally. They still have to wait one hour to tow your vehicle. <laughs> because who knows if you were just, my friend dropped off their keys. I got to go hand them their keys. I'm just parking here to do this. <laughs> it's one hour. The only exceptions are like uh, in a fire lane and blocking an exit or an entrance to a, bit, a place. Huh. Makes sense. Yeah. Unconditional release. 
if um if it's on private property and they start towing you you catch them they have to let you go unless they have this is the repo consent. law right like if they're repossessing your car they don't want to get <clears throat> shot mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what reasonable people do. release fee reasonable release fee is kind of cool so um it's the tower is entitled to no more than one half his normal towing fee. So he can't jack up the price for one tow job because he could tow your car and say this was a $600 tow and have no rules. So there are rules to what his fee is and what um, there's also an off hours tow release. Mm-hmm. So if you go to the wherever your car was towed to impound lot, they can't say, yeah, the impound lot. They can't say, ooh, it's after five. Uh Usually we charge forty bucks. It's seven hundred dollars to get it out after five. Did you ever have to get your car out of an impound lot? I did. Yeah. Do you have to pay cash? That's also in here. They have to accept credit cards. Oh, they do now. I don't remember them now, accepting cash. The California oh. law. Well, that's that's a good it. law. They didn't used to have to see. You get screwed that's if you don't have cash and you have to keep your car there, and it costs so much <clears> money. You get you, know, you can't even. It's not even worth it to get your car at a certain point. Wow, compliant! If you comply within 24 hours and go to them with money, they can only do a one-day maximum storage charge. Hmm. Is Reasonable that limited? Because the storage charge be. was like 100 and something dollars for like mm-hmm. 20 minutes a day. <laughs> a day. Yeah. Well, I think they must cap it at a day for whatever reason. Um, penalty for excessive charges, and if they find out you're charging like. Like if you usually charge fifty dollars a day, <clears throat> and they charge you a four hundred dollar release, and mm-hmm. you complain to them, mm-hmm. that's called exorbitant because it's not equal to one half of your whatever. They they do some math where it's like, oh, your numbers have to kind of coincide. Mm-hmm. They can bust your man, and you're entitled to four times as much if the towing company isn't owned by one guy and he just changes his company LLC and liquidates. <laughs> <clears throat> we have no cash in the till. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So what I'm getting at with tow truck drivers is they drive even more hardcore than I do. I see them do stunts all the time that make me go, damn, I should do that. It's- like there's something I do as a driver. Mm-hmm. Like I, my store is on a one-way street that's very not very popular. I drive up it the wrong way all the time just to do a three-point turn. Sometimes I'll drive up it to go half a block because I need to turn around or something. Like. I drive up one ways. You'll spy that I ahead of time. A little, I do a little bit of left on red. You know, mm-hmm. I do some left on red. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I know the area, I know what's going on, I know my surroundings, I'm okay with that. Tow truck drivers just, they they defy God itself <laughs> when they drive. And their vehicle is so strong and so heavy, they know you're not going to challenge them. Yeah. It's one of the few uh, professions I would not want to do because I know that those guys are like maxing it out. Like in their heads, they're... They're calculating everything pretty, pretty well. Pretty tight. Yeah, I don't. They also I wouldn't want to challenge. Harry at this point in parts of Philadelphia. Uh, I, yeah, <clears throat> you have to. <clears throat> I don't know when you're gonna like if you get challenged. Like tow truck, mm-hmm. tow truck drivers must get challenged all the time. They must be used to it, and like they could probably like pick up tells. So they probably already. Mm-hmm. It's like a fighter. Like a fighter already knows your moves. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, the funniest is is it Men in Black. There's an alien. They're towing the alien's truck. Oh, yeah, it is. It's Men in Black. And it's my favorite actor in the entire world, Edgar. Yeah, Edgar. 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 And he goes, I need sugar water. Sugar water. <laughs> anyway, they're towing his car, and it's the tow truck guy. And he already got it on the lift. And he's like, that's my car. And he's like, sorry, pal. You're in a two-hour limit. And he goes, oh, I'm going to do this. And he shows his alien things. And the tow truck driver scoffs, lifts his shirt, and there's a gun underneath. And he's like, get out of here. And I'm like, damn, Edgar got got. But tow truck drivers, I'll put it this way. When I was in college at the university, um, there was a famous part where all students lived in all the apartments, the courtyards. Mm -hmm. I parked my Lexus at the time. Don't worry. It was like a 15-year-old Lexus. But I parked it. At the top of the spot where, like, there was only this much room between the tires and the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Don't ask how I got it in there. Not, not a real spot. Here, not a real spot, but they can't even get to my front or my back to tell me. Oh, no. They have tricks. They have that little thing that they wheel. Anyway, they 
I was sitting on the balcony drinking tequila, which makes me go in robot mode where I start making, I just make robot noises. I don't even talk when I drink tequila. That's why I don't do tequila. I haven't in five years. And uh, I look out the window and they're like, Nick, isn't that your car? And I was like, and I looked and there it was getting pulled up, put on the old tow truck. Mm. And I thought, damn, I drank a lot that night. I made so many robot noises. Oh. Next day, I was like 300 bucks. That's ridiculous. 100 for this, 50 for towing fee, 150 for overnight fee, 38 for release, and 15 for this. And I was like, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how it Sorry, could so. be so much. Because there, there aren't too many rules. So, got towed there, and I think I got towed somewhere else. I can't remember where. So, what do you do if they, they tow you illegally? Like you were parked, you actually went to the where you were going, and you, you were take supposed to be there. As many pictures as you can. Take pictures of where your car was. Take pictures of well, you can't take a picture of where your car was with the car in the picture. Keep your receipts um, if you went to some place. It was like a shopping center. Mm-hmm. I bought a taco here. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Credit cards might be good for that. Mm-hmm. Um, if you did pay for um, parking, yeah. Keep that receipt too, because you know if you pick the car up earlier, that's hmm, yeah. illegal. I guess if you forget the ticket on the dash, like mm-hmm. I guess if you got to your car and the ticket was still there and they told you anyway, maybe having a photo of it, awesome. it'd probably have the time, right? Maybe they could show that you you got towed in the time frame that you but had the ticket truck. for. It's possible. Possible. Tow truck driver might not take any pictures while he's taking your car away. Oh uh, no, I'm talking about the tow truck driver. I'm talking about you. When you come up to your car after you paid for the fee, that's outrageous, and it has to take it right there. And then maybe – so, like, this is the problem is that it costs enough that it pisses you off, but not enough for you to spend a day trying to get that money back in most cases. Philadelphia specifically mm-hmm. had a show called um, Parking Wars, mm-hmm. and it's based on the Philadelphia Parking Authority, one of the most corrupt systems in uh, – in local politics. Huh. Um, Philadelphia Parking Authority is in charge of um, enforcing all these laws. They have their own tow team, their own parking meter people, stuff like that. In 2015, I believe they um, lost $87 million. How is that no possible? No one knows where it went. Um, there's been big investigations. Uh, it might have been $8.7 million. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Either way, it was a, a number that I've never seen. Do PPA uh, missing money? Sorry for the clicks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, they also did a TV show where it shows them living their day-to-day lives. One of my customers was actually famous for running outside of his own bar and uh, screaming because they were towing the vehicle at the time, and he cursed them out. But he was a bar owner, and he, um, I guess he used to put quarters in every two hours. Is our number? I'm scanning. Should have been 2016, 2015, maybe, 2017. I forget when it was. Anyway, um, there's a lot of missing money. And uh, shout out to the the PPA. If they're checking in on this, we're on to you. We're doing investigatory journalism. We're um, we're sending our people there. If anyone would like to donate to our Patreon, we will go down there and we will plant a bomb. We're going to... A truth bomb. The truth God. Bomb, where we're going to let everyone know what's going on for real, folks. Where the money's going. The um, they showed the uh, all the crazy stuff that goes on if you don't have your driver's license, your insurance card, your owner's card, your proof of purchase. You need like fourteen forms just to get your vehicle released, and if you don't have all the forms. You can't get it released, and they charge you for an extra day. So a lot of what happens down at the impound lot is that um, these vehicles get stuck there forever. And at this point, a $400, $600 vehicle it now has like $800 in fines. I kind of want to have the really crappy vehicle just leave it where it's not supposed to be and let them tow it. Like, make it cost. I wish, like, somehow you gain the system that way. cost efficient. Yeah. Like, if you no longer want a car and somehow it's not in your name anymore. I was going to say, it's still tied to your name. So. Yeah, the VIN, which is like on the engine block, on the outside of the car, and outside of the car, mm-hmm. somewhere else. Somewhere secret when a bomb goes off, a truth bomb in your car, the, <laughs> they can still find the VIN. <laughs> they still can. But um, interesting. I didn't know it was on the engine block. 
is it? It's on, yeah. It's on, like, the biggest piece of metal inside, inside your car that you can't get to easily. I didn't know that. I know it's on the uh, dashboard and all that. But these tow truck people, they, um, some of them make a, make a living off of just predatory towing. Where they, it's called a spotter. They have someone they work in unison with who says, I just saw someone park in Chicken Pete's parking lot. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not going there. Head over and tow that bad boy now. Like they have guys who are on the ground who are over there and they're circling around. Um, one guy I know used to call sports station. He says he used to hang out behind the bushes behind Chickies and Pete's in his tow truck, just chilling, waiting for someone to call him or someone to tell him to do something. He'll come out, tow it, boom. Because it's easy money when you think about it. If you don't get shot and if you don't get caught. Do you ever see the um, – there's a John Oliver on this where somebody was towing cars out of a McDonald's and it was obvious they went – directly in the mcdonald's and would tow the car before they got back out wow so it was like you have scummy people doing this and like mm -hmm. how do you argue when they already have your car in the truck they have your car and then what if they say okay fine um we have no way of proving anything just give us the flat fee the 150 towing fee and we'll let your car go at that point you're almost relieved to get your car back you're cash like, transaction how do they cash even transaction prove that it's illegal it's the wild, wild west. Hold on. My dad texted me. I better not be about... So oh. I, I don't see any of okay. the Philadelphia Parking Authority disappearing money. There's money that they could have collected and there's money. money. Mm. Either way, I'll, I'll bring it up in the next podcast because sure. I like to put them on blast. Sure. Everyone, everyone hates a meter made. <laughs> they do. That's one of the tougher jobs to do, I imagine. Yeah. I wouldn't... Again... Those types of jobs. Do you, do you know how many kids I've got? Mm, probably dozens. No, I'm way better than that. I'm quick. I know how to hide my car. I know where it looks like a danger zone. I know where to keep a lookout for those people. Mm -hmm. and I know where they hot spot. So if you have a delivery and every spot is taken, every paid spot, you're not going to double park on a one way in Philadelphia. You have to find an alleyway. Okay. Hmm. Find an alleyway because there's certain alleyways where they don't go. There's certain, like, Philadelphia also has this thing where in the double yellow lines in the middle of the road in South Philly, you can just park. Hmm. You just park and no one. No, double park. Yeah, no, I've seen streets like that. No one gives a shit. Yeah. Yep. No one gives a shit. The funniest parking rule in the world is at the Chinese food restaurant in Germantown. They have it set up so that there's a strip of land that's an island and you have to go into the island and come out. Like, it's a little loop. And the uh -huh. stores are in here, right? Yeah. There's meters on here. Meter, 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 meter. Like that's where you're supposed to go in, park, 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 whatever. Uh -huh. Everyone. I mean everyone. There's like 13 cars that usually park and go and come and go. Park on the outside of the island where there's no parking but no meters. <sighs> and they never get a ticket. Uh -huh. No one ever parks by the meters. And I'm always like. Who would pay that meter? <laughs> and it's like everyone just parks here. And it's the funniest thing because there's 13 cars in a row, the inlet, and then all the meters are empty because no one's parking there. And I'm like, this is – Good move. Good move. But no one ever tickets them. Maybe because of where it is. but hmm. Like that's the whole thing with this whole parking and towing. They're related a little bit. It's like there are rules to the road. Sometimes tow trucks help us. They – they get our battered vehicles and bring us somewhere. Yeah. They get the jackass and a Maserati who double parks in front of a place and gives them a fat old ticket. We love that, right? Mm -hmm. When it happens to us, five seconds after my time was up, Son of or a when bitch. I wasn't, yeah. or, or, or when you weren't parked illegally. It I'm hits you so park. hard, too. You're like, what? what? This is my most expensive property that you can move, and you took it. It, it kind of is, is it? Yeah, you have to figure it out. You feel like, where did this thing go that costs tens of thousands and how of dollars? Do you get to it. Yeah, you no I longer have the vehicle that you need. God damn, man, it's a double hit. So, how do you look out for these people? Take pictures of everything, folks. Take pictures of your dang car. It's like the edge of your vehicle is like climbing over towards red a little bit. Take a picture. This sounds ridiculous, but I know people who've gone to court and had that picture. You gotta go to traffic court to fight it. And be like this, Your Honor, look, I was literally this far over. And most judges would be like, that's ridiculous. Why would they tell it? And be like, 
I film everything I do. It was this, this is this much. It was this much. <laughs> and she screamed, oh my, it's in the red. So, video things. Take a little picture. Who the hell cares? Do credit cards. So you got receipts. You got <laughs> timelines. Yeah. How do you look out for meter people? How do you look out for tow trucks? You do it? You have to read every sign. You have to make sure that you're in the right spot. Like even when there's like a, a handicap spot that's been like painted over, like I double check to make sure that like, is it still a handicap spot? Is there a sign anywhere? Does it say I can't park here for 10 minutes? Like what the hell? I, when it says expecting mother, does it mean me on my way to the gym? <laughs> she was expecting at one point in the past. And we didn't and use the spot then. Car. Yeah. <laughs> Recouping old time. <laughs> yeah. Your Honor. We could. It didn't say when we were expecting. Yeah. It didn't say now. Expecting now. Yeah. I could. <laughs> you get your wife pregnant just to avoid the ticket. <laughs> your Honor. Clearly. I'd like you to, could say. <laughs> I'd like to exhibit A. You pull out the stick. We have a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, Plus sign, zero. baby. You throw the Plus stick sign, right at the judge's Honor. face. <laughs> Eat that. Your Honor. Expecting. <laughs> and I'm expecting this to be remiss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. It's good. Yeah. So keep your eye out for tow trucks. Tow people. Anyone with toes, really. Yeah. Predators. Predators, 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 predators. It's good. Predators.